Well, hello everyone. My name is Nicola and I'm renovating this whole apartment. And after kitchen and dining room, I think the only logical next step would be to do the pantry behind the kitchen, where I'm standing right now. This is small space, but it has a big impact because it can be seen from all directions. When I removed the folding door here, I knew that it would be more visible. So now this pantry really needs to be more organized and needs to be pretty. And currently it's looking a bit messy, I won't lie. So the first step that needs to be done is I need to empty it all so we can have a black space. Okay, let me show you a bit more of layout of this apartment. So this is the entryway and on the left side there are bedrooms and bathroom and on the other side is living room. Oh, and this is Gigi. If you hear chirping or someone else other talking than me, it's probably him. Okay, so this is the entryway to the kitchen. It's a bit messy right now. Oh, and many of you asked where I put the microwave. So here it is, it's on the other side. Before it was here and now I relocated here. This is a much better place for it, I think. And this is the pantry. I completely emptied it out. Now we have a blank canvas to work with. There is this little nook area here and it even have a small window. Look how nice view it has. So there are a couple things that uh, I want to do in this space. Uh, first thing would be that I want to make these shelves look more like they built in. Like now you can see these side pieces. I want to make a trim that goes on the edges. And also I want to put trim here uh, to make them look thicker. And the same thing on the other side here. Next thing would be to obviously paint everything. Also, uh, I want to replace this floor. I don't know what exactly, but it definitely needs a new one. And then I can organize it better. I will add some uh, in-between smaller shelf. I will add small cards that can pull out here. Also some things on, the, on this wall, but yeah, I'll talk about that later. Uh, when I did kitchen and dining room, I made a detailed project for it. I created 3D models. But for this little room, I am taking the more relaxed approach. Like I have in my head what I want to do and, and we'll see how that will go. Before I continue, I just need to say that I'm very grateful for all the nice comments and feedback that you gave me in my last video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, it really means a lot to me. I can't believe that there is almost 1000 of you dear people here. Okay, let's paint this pantry. And firstly, I thought about introducing some new contrasting darker color here. But eventually I decided to transfer color palette from the kitchen into this space. I want this space to be cohesive extension to the kitchen, so this option is appropriate. It's the same warm neutral color that I used in kitchen and dining room, but because it's such a small room, it will look a bit more darker and warmer, which I totally like. I also wanted to paint shelves the same color, but first I'm gonna add decorative trim, then I'll decide about the color. I can't express enough how I like this color. I think I'm gonna paint the whole apartment. It's just such a nice color. It has really good balance between dark and light, warm and cold. It's perfect. This next step is really important because I want to elevate look of these simple shelves. I prepared a few different templates from paper that I'm testing to see what would look the best. In all corners, I added half arches and in the middle section, as a first option, I placed simple trim that continues from the half arc segment. I wanted to add some detail and character to it, so I created a few more options as well. Ultimately, I decided on this design. 
is the same arc motif from the arch doorway, but reduced in size and multiplied. Now that I have the correct templates, let's go to the hardware store and buy all needed stuff for this project. This is the material that I'm gonna use, MDF boards, but with less thickness than ones I used for arch doorway, so I can easily cut out previously mentioned design. I like this table saw because it's so light and can easily be moved around and I love working outside. I use combination of table saw and jigsaw to roughly cut all the parts and I tried doing them in one long piece to avoid unnecessary seams. If you don't have table saw, all this can be done with just the jigsaw. I have this ellipse template which I use to draw my design and because it's more delicate and it requires more precision I used thin hand sew. Just like with the arch doorway I secured it to the base structure with small nails but I also added glue. I definitely need a nail gun. It would be much easier, but it's also possible to do it like this. After adding this element, they will still look like floating shelves, but will appear more custom and design made. Also, it hides structural pieces that are attached to the walls and provide hidden place to set up and mount lighting strip underneath, but I leave that for later. This addition elevated these shelves so much, it gave them completely new look, I love it. So I'm gonna leave them white, so they can have contrast against the wall color. And if you are wondering why I added that detail in the middle, well it's just decorative, but if you remember how I talked about symmetry in kitchen and axis of symmetry in this wall, I wanted to transfer that same attribute to the pantry as well, so that the both spaces can communicate with each other in that way. Before doing the floor, I needed to do something with this threshold. At one point it was painted green, then white, but I wanted to bring it back to its original form, which is just natural wood, so I stripped it down with combination of some stripping chemicals and sanding. I'm treating this space as a regular room with the intention of being an integral part of the kitchen. So I really wanted to replace all the linoleum covering with much nicer floor material. Ideally that will be solid wood. Because it's a small area, I had the opportunity to experiment and do it in a less conventional way. I went to the hardware store and just looked for what could be used. And generally, for flooring they usually sell these long boards but because I need small amount of it, I found these solid wood sheeplap boards. When joined together, they have this typical groove in front, but I'm gonna use the back side as floor surface. They were also pre-cut into one meter segment, so it was super easy to transport them. 
I simply cut them to size, glued them to the base with construction adhesive and joined them together. I know this is not the right method for doing floors, but for this tiny space that doesn't have a ton of foot traffic, I think it's totally acceptable. I also added this tiny profile shoe molding to all edges to make it look more clean and tidy. And I can't believe that Shipla boards turned upside down turned out this good. And floor is totally solid, nothing is moving when standing or jumping on it. I tested it. I thought about staining it to match it with the existing floors and windows still in the kitchen. But for now I'm gonna leave it like this. But what do you guys think? Should I stain it or leave it in its natural form? I was thinking a bit, the floor in pantry is the best floor in the whole apartment now. <laughs> and now it's time to organize this pantry. And I'm starting from the bottom. I had these plastic drawers that were positioned in the little nook area. And now I'm gonna separate them into two parts so they can fit in line underneath. And now I need to put something on top and for that uh, I found in IKEA at this section this simple board. It was only $3.99 dinners, that's like 3 or 4 dollars. And now this is perfect place to put baking trays, molds, anything that's large and flat. And in this area I can put less frequently used uh, items such as bags and some other stuff. And on this side is where I want to put the garbage bin. Ideally I would want something that can pull out. But for now I can use the one that I already have and I'm gonna put it here. I created this in-between smaller shelf from laminated simple uh, wood boards. And it goes here. Hopefully it will fit. I will paint it the same color as the walls, so don't worry, it won't stay like this. And underneath uh, I'm gonna put this simple IKEA black box. And let me show you how I imagine this to work. So they can be pulled out and I can put some stuff here. So everything will be hidden away and won't be visible from the rest of the kitchen already looking so much tidier and nicer and on this side I'm, I'm gonna put the remaining two drawers this little corner in this space is uh, where I plan to be some larger pots and pans so it's uh, easily reachable but still tucked away so it isn't visible that much I'm using the same system but this time I created the shelf that's all the way up from wall to wall, so it's full length. And again I'm using these IKEA plastic boxes. These ones I think the cheapest one you can buy. So they will go here like this. I wanted to elevate their look, so I just bought these Gubar IKEA little knobs. You can use whatever you want. This is like a small hack that you can do. Just attach it here in the center and now you get these small drawers that you can pull out.
when attaching these knobs you just need to shorten the screw a little bit because the boxes are really thin and why I like them is that you can combine them with these smaller ones they fit perfectly inside so you can put smaller things in them like that There's so much more space now. I can put stuff underneath here. I can put it on top of this here. Much, much better than before because the spacing between these uh, large shelves is big. So in between shelves were really needed. So the whole space can be used much more efficiently. And for the next shelf, I have these IKEA little metal thingies. I think they still sell them. They're meant to be used in upper cabinets, but I'm gonna use them stuck here on this shelf like this and here I can put some little balls and some smaller objects and even some spices And the last shelf is perfect for storing some big items or stuff that's not frequently used. And I also put these plastic containers that can be stored some extra food or some other stuff. I had to reconsider how the little nook area was used and instead of being closed clutter space I wanted it to be light and airy space for storage and also one new additional function. Instead of the stationary drawers, I bought small movable cart from IKEA that I'm assembling now. I can store bottles, drinks and other stuff here and they are super practical because they can be pulled out for easy access. I wanted something black colored in the pantry to tie in with the color palette. And in the upper section of nook area, I already have these rods attached to the walls, which are used for hanging pens. But since there is natural light in this space, I also wanted to create small herb garden. I think plants will grow successfully here and will provide nice scent. I went to the local fall marketplace where they sell so many flowers, plants, handmade items and food. I always love visiting this place ever since I was a little kid. I bought some herb plants and a few decorations for final touches in the pantry. Mm -hmm. 